Welcome back, Bobcat fans. SKS here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. We are 7-2 and two now, and check out that. The short list. Texas State's flashy. Kennery looks to take home the best returner in the nation. I do like that we're getting accolades. Makes me feel good about the team and how much we've grown over the past few seasons. Once again, wanted to take a look at the conference standings and show that we are undefeated in the conference. I'd like to stay that way. We are taking on the Raging Cajuns of Louisiana Lafayette. They are 4-2 and two in conference and 5-4 overall. Looks like they give up as many points as they score close to it. Um, it's still probably going to be a close game. Their quarterback looks like he's bringing his A game this year. 21 touchdowns, 5 interceptions. And their running back, he averages... 5.6 a carry, but it doesn't look like he carries that much. So that's something we're going to have to be prepared for the passing. And as you know, we're not very good at intercepting. We looked at this last time, the bowl projections. It has us for the New Orleans Bowl. I firmly believe that if we can win the conference again and we can get ranked, we can make it to a much better bowl game. And that is my goal this year. Without further ado, though, let's go to Louisiana and take on the Raging Cajuns. Numbers-wise, it looks pretty close. Let's hope we don't play down, though, and get upset. Well, this is interesting. Overall, Lafayette is a decent, very decent offense team. They almost pass as much as us, it looks like. They are 12th in the nation. We're 7th. But overall, their yardage is much higher, so... Obviously, our rushing game doesn't go, so they are a much more balanced team than we are offensively, and that is kind of scary. We're going to have to hope that our defense, we're 11th in the country, stands up, but look at their pass defense. It's 24th in the nation. This could be a really, this is a trap game. They have the number two quarterback in the nation visiting them. Holy crap. Here's the injury report. This is what I was talking about. McMahon is a wide receiver or is out for them. The right guard is out with a broken tailbone. Oh my God. And then Roberson is questionable. So he's going to be a game time decision whether we play him or not. Oh, it's a night game. Check this out. We are, I do love their uniforms. One of my old, old, NC, I may have told the story before. One of the old NCAA games I used to play as the Raging Cajuns because I just, I love the name and I love their colors. But yeah, this is going to definitely be a battle. This is going to be a good one, gamers. I hope you're already smashing that like button and ready to go for this. I never noticed the arrows across the names up there going across. Pretty neat. All right, here come the Raging Cajuns. They are the home team, and they are pumped up and ready to go. We're here at Cajun Field down in Louisiana for the Bobcats of Texas State and the Raging Cajuns of Louisiana Lafayette. Got to be up there for one of the best mascot names. We lost the coin toss. Kennery is going to bring this one out. That is very deep, though. Let's see if he can get a couple. There's a good block. Uh oh, Kennery. Kennery's. Oh, he's got the speed. Kennery's down the field. Kennery. Kennery's got one man to beat, and Kennery's going to open this game. That's your best returner in the nation right there, Brad Kennery. 108 yards. He is pumped up and ready to go. And the Bobcats strike first, and they strike quick. Oh, my God. Sets a record of the longest kick return. He breaks his own. That's the NCAA record. 107, even though it's at 108, but we'll take it. And Kennery, oh, he's just solidifying that award for himself. Oh, yeah, look at that. And Wilson will put the extra point through. Oh, my. That was definitely not the start the home team wanted to see there. But uh, Mitchell, he's not going to try to reciprocate that. He'll kneel. And their offense will take the field. All right, here comes a raging Cajun offense out. They put three to the left. They got one running back. That's a quick throw. Oh, oh, good Lord. And Greco will bring him down. That's a big gain across the middle. That was a very quick throw. They're going to run this one up the middle. Manning is going to try to bring him down. Oh, there's a flag on the play. Hey, listen. What? Oh, no way. J.D. Carter. I don't believe that. Automatic first 
So we reset here, and it's first and 10, 6.33. We had one quick score, and it looks like the Raging Cajuns are trying to really come down the field and do that. Let's see if the Bobcat defense can settle in. Uh-oh, there's a run. Oh, and he, he's, uh-oh, he's got some space, and he's going to get through, and he's, oh, he's brought down by Manning. Mike Barber. And up to this point, their offense has just smacked our defense right in the face. And they're going to run it. Oh, and Booth DDTs him. Jake the Snake would have been proud. Second and go now. And he's going to go up the middle, and he's going to dive, and they're going to give it to him. Mike Barber squeaks it in there, and we're going to have a tie game here, and that gets the home crowd right back into it as they erase the Kennery lead. Ah, it was close. Hometown, the Cajuns. The Cajuns. The Cajuns are all pumped up. Here we go again. Kennery looking for this one. He already has one. You know he'd like a second one. Oh, and he'll get wrapped up. They don't give him any yardage there. 21, though, and here comes the offense out on the field for the Bobcats. Like a handoff. McCoy. McCoy goes on the outside edge. McCoy will pick up five on that. Second and five here, 5.30 to go in the first. The counter out, McCoy, McCoy's got some room. McCoy will get that first down and that is six yards for him. Couldn't get through the secondary though. First and 10, Brown, Kenry, Burnett out there. We got a fullback out there playing. And they're gonna hit Kenry. Ooh, Kenry's gonna take a big hit, but he'll get five years, five years, five yards on the cross. A little short pass to get Horn settled a little. Hmm. Take it down, Brown out there. Got to figure out why Brown. Oh, okay. Now that's the fullback. I know who we are. There's a run. McCoy. McCoy will go around, and McCoy will get nine yards on the rush. So good rushes by McCoy today. Maybe they found a soft spot. Three to the left, Brown, Kennery, Denman, Burnett, McCoy in the backfield. There's a snap, looking for a block. McCoy will get three. That keeps it third and long though. That makes it third, and seven. third and seven. And that one's thrown in the traffic and knocked down. Triple coverage, what was he thinking? Aaron Jones will come out for the punt. That one's high, and it's going to go out of bounds at the 25, perhaps? Let's see if our defense can do any better. Manning will get over there and make that tackle. Only a four-yard gain for Barber. They're going to do a quick throw. Booth is over there. Booth will... Oh, nice tackle for Booth. Shed one man, and then he pulls down Childs. Or not Childs, excuse me. Quick snap. Oh, and he'll drop that, and that is going to make it fourth down, and the Bobcat defense holds. The Raging Cajuns slip up there on that drive. Couple of drops. Here's the punt. Kennery is back. Kennery looking for it. And Kennery is going to get hit. No gain pretty much on that one. First and 10. Lane goes in motion. They fake the handoff. Horn will dump that one and Lane. Oh, we made the catch. Nice job, Wade Lane, 10 yards. Inches here to go on second down. Burnett out there by himself. McCoy in the backfield. Kennery Denman Brown. We don't get to call Wade Lane's name that much this year, but uh, he would do that. Oh, we need a block. Where's the block at center? Oh, and McCoy stays up and he'll get four yards standing tall. Here's the snap. Oh, he's got him across the middle. Brown will make that catch, and that is going to be good for 11 yards and the first down. Daryl Brown, who confused me. I was thinking of our old fullback for some reason. Shows you how well I know the team. Oh, there's a nice one. Oh, that's Kennery. Kennery. Oh, Kennery was trying to get a block from, from uh, the tight end there, and he just couldn't get around. 
Minute 45 left to go in the first. Here's a handoff. McCoy, McCoy will slip through, get a couple. Move the pile just a little. Thomas goes in motion here, and they're going to hand it to Thomas. Thomas, he'll only get a couple of yards. He needed one block there. Third and six here, Burnett, Brown. They're out of field goal range, I believe. They need some playmakers step up. Thomas goes in motion. And that is almost picked up. There is a flag on the play. And the refs having some words with Thomas there. The fourth and six, Coach Conquest opts to go for it here. Oh my God, Johnny Walker holds on to it. He took the hit for the team, but that is a first down, my Lord. There's a the handoff, McCoy looking up the middle. McCoy, McCoy will get a good run there, seven yards. And that should take us to the end of the first quarter. Good ball movement by the Bobcats here. We're a quarter of the way through the game. Texas State, seven. Raging Cajuns of Louisiana Lafayette, seven. They get in three here. McCoy, they empty the backfield. And that is Kennery again. Kennery will make the catch seven yards. That will make it first and goal here. And load up that side. Warren's going to throw it. It's going to McCoy, McCoy, McCoy! Three yards, they swung it out to him. A brilliant play, but there's not enough room. All the big uglies come out for this one. Second and goal. And oh, and Thomas knocked down behind the line and that's gonna make it a longer third down here for the score. Third and goal, the pressing. Horn was that that one in Brown catches it for the touchdown. Six yards, and Texas State takes the lead here in the second. What an out route there. He just, the hesitation on that. He left the defender. The defender thought he might be going in. He did not. No sideline celebrations, really, this game. It just cuts to the kickoff or shows an update. Mitchell's going to bring this one out. Oh, he's going to get some distance, but he's going to get pulled down there. Look like Tyler Barnes, the freshman safety at a college station, Texas, making the tackle. First to 10 here. It's been a while since the Raging Cajuns offense has touched the ball. Oh, the quarterback's going to go. And he's going to get a big run there. 13 yards. Couldn't get off our blocks. Oh, and Manning's going to blow that play up in the backfield, and that is a loss of two. Oh, he come through hot and heavy. He was going for the quarterback. Line moves in here. Oh, and Cameron. Oh, my God. J.D. Carter laid the boom down. Of course, I'm going to come look at this. I have not seen this animation. Okay, he catches the ball. And it looks like Troy Cameron is there on him. And he gets ready to turn. And this is where it gets interesting. J.D. Carter comes over and just pow. Whoop. And the dude, <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I'm just, I've never, he picked a bad time to hurdle. Oh, wow. where was the fumble at? Somehow he held on to it. That was good enough for a first down, so here we are. And they're going to run up the middle, and we'll trip that up. No gain for Barber there. I feel like that we're going to push them to throw more. And that's exactly what just happened there. 
And that is good enough for a first down. Again, 19 yards. They're moving up the field. Got to bring our coverage in somewhat. That's a run. Oh, and he throws J.D. Carter off, but Randy Booth will make the tackle. Oh, we were on him. Manning will stop him there. No gain on that. We had the pressure on the quarterback. Pivotal third down here as they move players into position. Oh, and we get there, and it's a fumble, and Edwards, Ronnie Edwards is going to pick it up. Ronnie Edwards, the big man, he's going down the field. Oh, my God, can the senior from Corsicana, Texas, run it all the way back? The meatball attraction's going to score the scoop and six. Oh, my God, what a highlight for the senior. I did not think that that would occur, but Ronnie Edwards, give that man some oxygen. The extra point is good, and Texas State all of a sudden is up two scores. And Ronnie Edwards getting the butt pat from Coach Conquest. You got to love it. That was amazing. That was simply amazing. Here's the kickoff from Wilson. The Raging Cajuns all of a sudden down two scores. I don't even remember who caused that fumble there, but uh, that was – we'll have to check that at the end if I can remember. Darius Fields is the one. I couldn't wait. I had to look it up. So the junior from Fort Stockton uh, causes the fumble, and then Ronnie Edwards will scoop that up and run 63 yards. First of 10 here. Oh, my God, we were there. Oh, that was a big hit there by Harris, but he knocks him off. Good run by the quarterback. Starting to pack it in here. Oh, we were all over him. Oh, get him. Don't let him get up. Fields will have to come over and make that tackle. Three yards. That was a lot of action for three yards. Let's send the line here. And he's... Got, oh, God, no, Greco. Why did you do that? We had a man out there on coverage, and somehow he let him slide right off of him. Got some linemen in that I've not seen for a while. Uh-oh. Bailey, it's like our B team's out there. They, they might be wore out. That was a good... That's Bailey, 53. Yeah, David Bailey's a sophomore from Madison, Wisconsin. Got Dawson out here playing, so I'm not sure what's going on. Oh, they're going to run, but Manning is there. Uh-oh. They're going to... Oh, he almost had the first down, but he will not get it. Third and one, though. I thought it was third down already. Go hurry up. I guess Edwards needed a rest. Oh, that's a nice throw over the side. Did he catch that? He did. He held on to it. The big hit from Nichols. We may think about running a timeout here just to get some of our dudes back on the field. Nope. Oh, and oh, nice pack up, pack break up there. TJ Manning. God. I get a 10 here. Edward's still not out there. Oh, and he's going to make that catch. Fagan, 11 yards. No, Ronnie Edwards is back here. Oh, good Lord. Booth comes up and lays the smack down. Eight yards, though. They've got us on the stretch here. Second and two here. They're pushing the score. And he's going to break off Cameron, and oh, they will only give him a yard on the mark. So third and one. Be wrong if I bring the house here. Oh, did we jump? Oh, false start. False start. Yeah. They got nervous of the. We were bringing everybody. Third down here. Two minutes to go till half. And he's not going to get that off. They were trying to run the screen, but it was well protected, and they're going to fall back, and this is not going to be an easy field goal. The whole team was on him. And maybe that's Darius Fields with the sack. Conquest will call a timeout, so they get a little bit of time left. After the timeout, this is quite a long field goal here. 
And it is up, and he'll curve it in. 21-10. There'll be a minute 33 for Horn and the offense to come out and try to tack on some more points. They will launch this one to Kennery. You think they'd keep it away from him now? Kennery. Oh my God! Kennery's got some blocks. He needs one more. He gets a block. Kennery trying to. Oh, and they finally catch up with him. But that's 60 yards down the sideline, and that is brilliant field position. Minute 26 left till half. Brown's gonna catch that one, and he's gonna get the first down. So they'll move the chains and stop the clock. Horn delivers that one quick. Johnny Walker will make the catch. Another big hit on the big fella, but he holds on to it. That makes it first and ten. Minute to go. Looks like a handoff. McCoy. McCoy will squeak through. He'll get three yards. Tried to fool the defense. Second and seven. Horn shoots that one quick. Kennery. Kennery's in there for the touchdown. He took the initial hit after the catch, but Kennery has been the man today. That's his second touchdown. Boom, just goes right through him. Will not be the nine, and Texas State increases their lead right here before half. Let's not forget about Justin Horn there, who was slinging that ball perfectly. This is going to be a returnable kick. It is over on the side. Here comes Mitchell. And they'll bring him down. Look like Wade Lane was over there to help on the tackle. So they'll have 27 seconds. Let's see what they do. They're going to run. Go. Oh. Oh. And Fritz. Brandon Fitz is going to pick it off. Oh, he needs a. Oh, he couldn't get through. And Brandon Fritz with the interception. Where was that last week? Oh, I'm so proud. Brandon Fritz, the sophomore out of Channel View, Texas. Look at that. Two hands. He's been working on that. And maybe, just maybe, they could squeak out a... Oh, that's that's Burnett. Burnett's going to break the tackle. Burnett! Oh, and he gets thrown out of bounds. 31 yards. And John Burnett, we were wondering where he was at earlier in the game. And there he is. Horn just puts that one right on the money. And Sean Burnett just does what Sean Burnett does. And Texas State is three yards away from really blowing this open. First and goal. And there's a throw, and Burnett's going to catch it for the touchdown. He's rewarded. And Texas State has kicked the gate down here in the first half. Two scores in less than a minute. Congratulations there on the sideline. Cortez Wilson will gingerly kick that out as a short kick. Uh oh. And he had some opening, and that's going to be 33 yards for him. So maybe a miss hit there. And they're going to try to launch something again. Oh, but the pressure was there, and he'll get sacked. Who was it? I don't know if we're going to see, but that's the end of the first half. All Bobcats after that initial swarm of attack. 35-10 here in Louisiana. We start the second half. Bobcats solid lead right now by 25. Cortez Wilson will put that deep in the back of the end zone as the sun is completely set here in Louisiana. You see the defense. It started out kind of sketchy, but they have solidified since then. Snap there. Quick throw across the middle. That is where they were successful at the first of the game. It looks like they're going to try to solidify and go for that. Another first down here. Getting the ball moving would be positive for the Cajuns. Fields, he'll get through there, and he'll have to throw that one away as Childs. Oh, he's going to run. Here comes Manning. Oh, he's going to get... Oh, what a co collision there by Greco. The so third and seven here. See what the Cajuns can do. They started off promising. 
Oh, he's got a wide open guy across the middle, and he's going to make that catch, and they're going to be near midfield as Hawkins pulls in the reception. Home crowd trying to get into this one. Three. Oh, he's going to run again. Oh, he's got a lot of space. And the lineman. Good Lord. Ronnie Edwards will have to make the tackle. There's another opening. Fritz. Oh, Fritz couldn't bring him down. And finally, Manning will have to run over and make the tackle, and they're going to be close to... And quarterback's going to keep that one. And Manning and who else was it? Greco, I believe. Wrap him up. Two-yard gain. Usually I'm pretty good at keeping up with the uh, this, this run, but uh, they're going really quick today. And there's a two-yard rush. Third and six. So now they've kind of dug themselves into a little hole. Let's see what they can do. They need points here. Third and six. They're doing a screen and he couldn't get it off. And once again, they try to run that screen play on third down and the Bobcats just snuff it out. And this is going to push back the field goal big time. Is uh, Was that Frank Rankin coming in there out of Corona, California, getting the sack? Pretty straight field goal. As long as he hits it uh, straight, he'll be in good shape. And he gets it. Wow, nice bend. Bend it like Beckham. It's good. Three points for the Cajuns. The raging Cajuns. And with 5.09 left in the third, still a 22-point game. So the Cajuns' hopes here, for one, they kick it to Schneider, and that was good. Um, they need to... Oh, and Schneider trying to turn the corner. Schneider's going to go around the side. Schneider's down the side of the field. And oh my God, there's a flag on the play. Let's see if this stays. The crowd booing. And that is a touchdown, but there is a flag. What is it? Oh my God, they're going to bring it back. And it's on Kennery. Oh, <laughs> Thought the freshman had his first run back there, but nope, called back. And McCoy, McCoy trying to turn the corner here. McCoy will get eight yards on the run. If anything, though, on the second down, watching Schneider run that back was a hope of the future. Oh, and McCoy's going to have to lower his shoulder and bounce through there. A glimmer of speed that will be there when Kennery moves on. First of 10 here, Brown and Kennery to the left, Dim and Burnett, McCoy in the backfield. And Burnett's gonna make that catch and Burnett will get maybe eight, seven, eight, something like that. And Horn's gonna keep this one and Horn will dive and he'll get the first down. Horn is not very eloquent when it comes to sliding. Thomas back in the backfield now. They are going to hand it off to him, and he's going to get wrapped down and lose two yards. Darren Thomas has just faded from glory from the start of the year. Not sure if he's nursing an injury, and we just don't know about it or what, but his acceleration is just hindered. After the false start on Ricky Jacobs, the guard, we start over. Horn is going to deliver that, and that's Johnny Walker. And once again, he'll take two big hits, make the catch, and get the first down. He's up to 47 yards on the day. Very calm, relaxed offensive routine that we're going through here. There's McCoy. McCoy will go through and get three. Nice little juke move there. Almost as if Conquest is content with just running out this third quarter. Oh, and there's a good run, and there's another block. McCoy will get eight yards and the first down. He's really put some work in today rushing. First of 10. Horn will throw, and oh, Graves. Oh, Graves checks into the game, and he'll drop the pass. He was thinking about the touchdown, and he would have had it. And he goes back to watch footage on that. He'll be upset. Oh, he's wide open. And Kennery will make that catch. What a drop pass by Justin Horn, who put the perfect amount of touch on that. 
and it drops in. And that is a quiet 200 yards today for Horn. First and goal here. There is a handoff and McCoy, McCoy, ooh, McCoy will run into a couple people who get two. Horn. Horn will throw that one and that is Burnett for his second touchdown of the day. And Sean Burnett will pull that one in and it is 41 to 13 with a minute to go in the third. And that one took a while to develop. There was a lot of protection for Horn. Centrally excited Burnett. There's Brian Jones. Looks like he's loosening up on the sideline. We may see him today. Deep kick here. Mitchell will kneel down. The Bobcats already have one injury they're lingering with on, on offense. You'd think that they don't want any... Uh-oh, this is a big run here. Greco's going to come over and try to trip him up. Oh, there's a flag on the play. What is it? What? Oh, come on! How? On fields? Oh, ref ball is definitely trying to bring... I don't know if they can bring him back in, but they can keep the crowd here a little. I'll get that. Come on. Oh, pick that up, Booth. <sighs> kind of having to put a uh, Insta Hot Route person for the quarterback, Casey Runs. Come on, Fritz. Good, good tackle. Good open field tackle there. Makes it third down and five. Brandon Fritz playing good today. Oh, he's going to throw it, Greco. Come on. Oh, we gave him too much cushion. Too much cushion there. So 14 seconds left in the third. Cajun's trying to get something going. Oh, and he's going to get... Oh, he's going to get out of there. And Carter will have to bring him down. A How did he get out of that pocket? And that should run out the third quarter. My Lord, he was running for his life. We go to the fourth. It is probably out of touch for the raging Cajuns. Texas State just too much for them today. 42-13 going into the final quarter. Second and two. Oh, he's so elusive. We never can pull him down from behind. First and goal now. Maybe that screenplay. Oh, and he turns around and he just runs into a defender. And that is a sack by Phil Harris, the freshman out of Union Springs, Alabama. Look at that. Turned into him and he'll get his first sack as the quarterback just turns around right into him. You couldn't ask for a better play to get your first one. Congratulations. Another note there, a side note for Phil Harris. He shares a name with a great captain who passed away from deadliest catch. We got a penalty here. What happened? Ball start. Offense. Okay, well, we'll take that. That backs him up just a little bit more. Still second down. For the Raging Cajuns, it's second and goal, but they're on the, almost the 25. That'll help a little bit. Third and goal on the 18, I believe. Oh, and they try to screen again, and it's going to be a four-yard loss, and that is going to make it fourth down. Some questionable play calling here for the Raging Cajuns. They've had opportunities to strike, and you know they got that passing game, but the Bobcats just sniffing out the screen today. I really thought they would go for it here, but the field goal unit comes out, perhaps a fake. And he'll put three more through. So 42-16, 5.56 left in the game. And it makes you wonder who's coming out. Never mind. They're actually going to go. <laughs> they're going to try an onside kick here. So if they don't get this, that means they probably will concede the game. Frank Rakin is going to get it. And they're going to bum rush him near midfield. Very interesting. 
And that will be the end of the day for the starters. Here comes Brian Jones out on the field. Thomas in there, Ben Taggart, Denman, Brown, and Kenry. Jones. Jones will throw that one, but it was right in the direction. I just don't think that uh, he thought the pass was to him. Jones will deliver. Thomas. Jason Thomas. Who is that? Sophomore out of Socorro, Texas. I honestly thought that Thomas was redshirted. I hope that's not a glitch and we just lost his redshirt status. And Thomas, Darren Thomas, will get lit up in the backfield again. He's going to end the day with negative yardage unless he could gear something out. Oh, what a throw to Brown, and Brown will step out of bounds. But Jones, what a pass there. Crisp throw, stood in the pocket, hit Brown right down the sideline. Brown just took a step to the right too much, and it's out of bounds. First and 10. It's a handoff here. Thomas looking for a hole. He'll get four yards. Four twenty left in the game. Here's the handoff. Thomas, oh, it's like he tries to go. He'll get four yards. I mean, it's positive, but he'll just get grabbed and brought down from behind. Third and two here. Jones surveys the line, and Jones will hit Wade Lane open in the end zone, and that is 10 yards, and Texas State adds to it. And you think you're in okay shape when you get rid of Justin Horn? Well, here comes Brian Jones into the game. He'll put six more on the board. Bench very excited about that. I think that was Horn on the bench just sitting there laxing. Cortez Wilson will launch this one. Going to make the end zone. They may bring it out. Mitchell will. Twenty-eight yards there. For the backup defense in the game, let's see what they can do here. They can leave a guy wide open. You'll get 16 yards. Did you hear me mash buttons? I probably shouldn't run the 4-2-5 with the backups. I don't think that we have the personnel to do it. Oh, oh, good Lord. They almost got the screen pass off on them, though. They get three yards on it. These are development downs, though. These, these kids get in here and they develop. They get a couple points. Awareness goes up. We're going to do it again. And that is a good screen. So see, that must be the bread and butter of the Cajuns as they run the screen. It may work on our backups, but not the A-team. First to 10 here. Yep. Another screen pass. Oh man. 23 yards. So they're really starting to get some yardage here. All right, let's change up uh, the defense a little bit after the penalty. Oh, we were there. And Bailey is going to push him out of bounds. I am amazed that the screen is the play that they... that they run. Oh, the quarterback's going to sneak in and get a touchdown, and Lafayette is going to put some trash time points on the board and make it look a little healthier. Looks like once again they're going to try to go for it. We've got the hands team out there. We're ready for this. And Denman's going to get it. So Brian Jones comes out, gets a little action, throws a touchdown, runs over a couple guys. And Texas State started off like a gunshot and brad kennery 261 all-purpose yards two total touchdowns is your player of the game well deserved this game really wasn't in doubt after the first quarter another good conference win for the bobcats and this must be the first play of the game final score here in louisiana texas state 49 louisiana lafayette the raging cajuns 23 the last little point touchdown they put on made the score look a little bit better this one wasn't in doubt. 
Take a look at the player stats. We'll start with Justin Horn, the senior. 227 rating. He threw 80% today, 17 for 21. Look how quiet that 17 for 21 was. He only, only had 208 yards, but he threw for four touchdowns. 80%. Look right above him, though. Speaking of 80%, Brian Jones, the sophomore. Four for five, 61 yards, threw for a touchdown, and a nice little... Uh, rush there too john mccoy tough running today 13 rushes for 64 yards his longest was nine no touchdowns though darren thomas he did get to the positive nine attempts 13 yards uh brian jones had that one run for 10 yards that was uh pretty nice and he had one broke tackle look at that horn also had the one run uh so everybody was kind of feeling honoring today and wanted to run it brown and kennery five catches look at the touchdown distribution here uh, Daryl Brown, one touchdown. Brad Kennery had this touchdown and the run back. Burnett, two touchdowns on 47 yards. Johnny Walker had 47 yards. Great catches today for him. And Wade Lane, two great catches on those. Um, the one was on the sideline, and then he had the one in the end zone, obviously, from Brian Jones. Uh, so really good. Jason Thomas, again, this guy, I, I thought he was redshirted, but he come out there and showed us he can make a catch. And uh, he got 12 yards, so good for him. Defensive side of the ball, Randy Booth, six tackles, six solo. TJ Manning, again, a stud. Darius Fields, look at that stat line. Five solo tackles, three sacks. Man, beast today. Green and Carter also had four. Let's see, who else had sacks today? Frank Rakin, sophomore got out there. Phil Harris. That's saying uh, earlier, the deadliest catch namesake. Uh, so very nice. We can uh, throw it out to Brandon Fritz today for coming down with an interception, bringing it back 10 yards. And then the hero on the side, we had Darius Fields, who we've already talked about, but the fumble recovery by Ronnie Edwards, the senior, running it back 63 yards. Good job, sir. Cortez Wilson, he was kind of busy today. Seven, seven extra points. Aaron Jones come out there for one punt. Always got to get his name out there when we can. Here's the star of the show, Brad Kennery. Three kick returns, only 188 yards. He's only averaging 62.6 this game. Had a touchdown, and he also set another career record of 107-yard return, even though I think it's at 108, but I guess the official measurement brought it back a little bit. I also wanted to bring up here on this screen that they took Schneider's thing completely off. Like, even though he ran it back, he gets nothing because they go back to the spot of the foul. Kennery was your offensive player of the game. We knew that because he was overall. But look, I was right. Darius Fields, five tackles, three for a loss, three sacks, and that forced fumble. Splashdown. The big momentum. Bobcats down, U University of Louisiana Lafayette improved their win streak to seven. Your team executed when they had to and came up with the big plays. Good win, coach. I, I agree with that. I'm going to go ahead and advance the week and see what happens. We'll go to week 14. I'm kind of interested to see what's going to be on this side of this game. Oh, we're in a recruiting battle with so many, so many players. I'm glad we got a couple others that are ready to visit. We lost a right guard to Troy. That one hurts. Did he not watch last week's game? Killing me. Killing me, Smalls. <laughs> okay, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode on this. For one, we got a, de a defensive coordinator upgrade. I'm not sure what I'll put that on, but uh, I love this over here. Fine tuning. Can the Warhawks of Louisiana Monroe pull out a conference miracle? We're playing well right now, and I'm hoping we take that all the way to the end of the season. We've got this game, and then we got one more home game, I think, next week. So all these recruits, we're going to have to get them in here before next week. And they're all going to be here at once. And that's going to be our last chance to uh, impress them, to get them to commit. But with that said, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Hit that like button. Leave some comments. I love to read what you all put. As always, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. God bless. I'll see you all next time. Good night, Bobcats.